Hey, it's been a while. Don't know if you remember me, but um, yeah, I'm the guy who milked cows for money and we're back here because it's time to work again. I need to find another job so that I can pay for some of the uh, more luxurious items that I like to uh, indulge myself in. So uh, yeah, let's get to work. As you can already tell, I am wearing the prospector's outfit, so that should already give you a pretty big hint of what I'm going to be doing for this moneymaker. Uh, but before we do that, I do have to go remove my cape and put that away because, I mean, miners don't wear capes, right? I'm not trying to get made fun of right now, so yeah. In our inventory, you can see that we have 189k. This is the money that we've made so far from all of the honest jobs that we've been working. I'm just going to use that to go ahead and buy a rune pickaxe, which is the best one I can buy right now. So we'll just invest our money into that. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm going to go ahead and bank the rest of the money. And then I'm going to show you what we're going to be doing for this one hour. Although I kind of need the cape to uh, teleport to the area. So yeah, let's use that really quick. So you might be asking yourself, why didn't you upload a max to stack video today? Well, I've actually been spending time with family and while I was spending time with the family, uh, we watched a favorite movie of mine that I used to watch as a kid. Uh, you guys might've heard of it. It's called Zoolander. And uh, in that movie, there's a scene where the protagonist is mining coal. So I thought, hmm, maybe we should do that. If you guys are interested in the clip, I'll leave it in the description down below. I would put it in this video, but I'm not trying to get it taken down right now, so yeah. So I thought, since I'm not going to be able to dedicate that much time this week to a maxed to stacked video, I thought we'd just go ahead and revisit an old series, which is the Honest Jobs or Honest RuneScape uh, series. So let's go ahead and do that. So for this, I'm actually going to do something that I've never used before, I think. Uh, like I said, we're going to go mine coal, like, you know, Derek Zoolander did but we're gonna do it in this area. Of course, there's probably much better places to mine coal at, but I figured this would be more fitting for the Honest Job series. So if we follow this track all the way west, we will eventually, eventually <laughs> run into a, uh, a coal mine. Yeah, I didn't realize how far this was. This is actually really, really far, okay. I probably should have brought my cape. All right, so we are finally here. Here's the coal mine with plenty of bats, giant bats. Yeah, they're actually pretty big. Whoops, that was an accident. I am so sorry. All right. Anyways, we're here at the coal mine, and this is where we'll be mining coal. It looks like we don't have any competition, which is good. And I mean, it's for good reason, this place. Um, yeah, it's not really the best place to mine coal. And I mean, coal as a moneymaker isn't the greatest. Uh, but it does make it an honest job, so that's what we'll be doing for the next hour. Now, the cool part about this place is that we have the coal right here, plenty of coal to mine. And instead of having to run to the bank to actually bank it, we can actually just put it in this coal truck right here. And I think it's safe to say that's the first time that I've ever placed coal into this coal truck, unless it was needed for like a diary or something. But yeah, so thanks to this nice guy right here named Stankers, we're able to use these coal trucks and he will ship them over to the Sears village. So that's pretty nice of him. As you can see right here, he's a nice person like that. All right, so I just looked it up and apparently you can store 120 coal in these coal trucks. But if you have the Kandarin Achievement Diaries completed, you can store 140, 280, or 308, depending on what tier you have completed. Now these are for the easy, medium, and hard tiers, which is very very nice because we actually don't have the elite diary done so yeah i just i don't feel like doing barbarian assault yeah i'm just not very fond of that place so yeah that's why it's been 42 out of 43 for the longest time but who knows maybe one of these days we'll get it done now there is a bonus that you get from completing the elite candor diary but it's not a huge um it's not a huge deal and at the same time i feel like it would kind of take away from the whole honest job aspect so if you have the elite tier diary done for the kandarin then the first 200 coal pieces that you place in the trucks would be automatically transported to the bank and that doesn't really seem like an honest job but there's a little bit of magic involved there so uh yeah i'd rather just move the coal myself so yeah that's what we'll be doing for this one hour let's get after it
All right, so what we're about to do here is a pro gamer move, all right? I want you to follow along very closely. You remember that I said that the limit for this is 308, right? We currently have 307 in there. So that means we can only put one more piece of coal in there. But if we leave it at 307, we can fit a full inventory into that little coal truck right there. Now, the wiki refers to this as an exploit, and <laughs> I'm not sure how I feel about it, because I don't know, when you when you call it an exploit, it seems like it's something really serious. Yeah, I, I feel almost dirty. I feel like I'm breaking the rules. I feel like if I upload this video now with this part in it, uh, Jagex is going to ban my account. So yeah, it feels kind of dirty, but <laughs> it's just a little trick, you know, a little pro gamer move if you guys are interested in... Uh, for whatever reason, mining coal here in this area. So yeah, just a little tip there. You can fit a little bit more coal uh, by, you know, being one under the limit. Similar to, I believe, uh, Motherload Mine with the uh, the sack that you emptied the, the payload into. The, the payload, no, not, is it payload? No, pay dirt. <laughs> the sack that you emptied the pay dirt into. Uh, so yeah, just a little trick. All right, so this is the last inventory. Now we gotta go ahead, oh, What just happened? There's 309. Did I mess this up? Did I, hold on, I gotta pause the timer. Did I mess this up? It says, an exploit currently exists in which a player can transport 27 additional coal if the trucks are filled up to one less than full, then an entire inventory of coal is placed in the cart. What did I do wrong here? <laughs> I, I followed it exactly, I put one less. We, we were at 307. And then I tried to put a full inventory in there and it only took two, which is kind of weird because it still went over the limit. We're at 309. So I wonder if they fixed it, unless I did it wrong. I don't know, but uh, yeah, now we got to run all the way back with, uh, yeah, 63 kil kilograms on me. That's, that's kind of heavy. I bet you're wishing you took the max cape now, huh? Yeah, I'm not sure why it didn't work. Uh, if any of you are coal miners and you guys are experts in that field and you guys know what happened, feel free to leave it in the comments. Uh, yeah, I don't know if they fixed it or if I just did something wrong, but yeah, that kind of sucks. And I didn't realize how far away these trucks were from the bank. I thought it was going to be like right here, but this is not the bank. This is the, uh, the bar that we'll be going to after we're done with our shift. Yikes. All right, so I was reading the wiki on what I did wrong, and I don't know if this actually influences it, but it did say to fill it up with one less than full, and then you empty an entire inventory of coal into the coal truck, which we didn't do because we had a sapphire in our inventory. But would that have really made a difference? If I had one extra coal, would it have really have taken everything instead of only two? I don't know if it would have. I don't see, I don't see how that would make a difference, but... Who knows, maybe that's where I messed up. All right, so quite some time later, I think we're finally done with all the coal. Yep, just one more piece in there. We'll go ahead and leave it in there for now. Let's go back and mine whatever remaining coal we can get in the remaining 10 minutes or 11 minutes, I guess. 10 minutes by the time we get there. So yeah, we'll see. And we're back. Another day at the mines. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and deposit this last little bit of coal and then start heading back over there. Um, cause I'm not trying to work any overtime, you know, I still gotta unload the coal from the trucks and take it straight to the bank. So hopefully, uh, that gives us enough time to, uh, end it on time, but we might go a little bit over, maybe even a little bit under, but we'll see. All right, there we go. There's the last bit of coal left. And, uh, yeah, looks like we're going to finish just on time. Sprint for the last part of it. And there we go. There is one hour of mining in the coal mines. We were able to get 403 pieces of coal valued at around 62,000 coins, as well as an uncut sapphire, which is 379. But as we all know, this would be worth more cut. So let's go ahead and head over to the GE and sell off our coal. Now that everybody went home for the day, uh, I think it's safe to put the cape back on and teleport out of here. Luckily, nobody will see that. Let's go ahead and throw it in the GE for... Oh, nice. Looks like we're going to get even more money than what uh, we previously thought. So 62K is what we were expecting, but we're going to get 65. Very nice. Um, the uncut sapphire 
is 361 but of course it'll be worth more cut so let's go ahead and get ourselves a chisel i do have one in the bank let's cut that real quick and then sell it for some extra money this is why i have trust issues <laughs> all right let's just sell it off it doesn't matter 323 at least you got some crafting xp right so as you can see from one hour of mining coal we managed to make 65,000 gold that's quite a big amount so if we combine the money that we made in this episode with the entire series it gives us a grand total profit of 255,543 gp a quarter of a million has been made in eight hours of honest work here's also a look at the amount of mining xp that we got throughout this one hour I just want to say thanks for checking out the video and thank you to all the people who have decided to become channel members with a special thanks to ACR Beans. Once again, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed. And as always, I'll catch you guys in the next episode.